Welcome back. Last time we created a fairly straightforward uh, HTML page with some simple elements. You can see most of that here. Uh, what I want to do today is extend on that discussion by adding some more content with additional HTML elements. So I'm going to change a little bit of the content and I want to show you that I've used HTML comments to uh, basically list the things that I'm going to change. Most programming languages have comments, which are places just to leave notes for yourself or other professionals who work on that document. And so I've assigned myself four tasks. I'm gonna update the content. I will add a paragraph description, uh, add an image and add a hyperlink. So, um, Let's say that I want to make a summary page of what we've been talking about uh, this in, in these class modules to date. I might do something like this. I might say www overview, right? So I'll call that my title, sort of general description of the content. And then I might say, you know, something like www overview, give that some content. So that's an example of just updating the content, right? I just want to make that make that available um, and sort of give myself something a little bit more robust than uh, a hello world web page. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add a paragraph. And if you recall the paragraph element, looks something like this. And, uh, you know, this paragraph is just going to be sort of a description of what we're working on. So, uh, you know, I might say something like this website is a summary of the www overview offered to curious people everywhere. And uh, so this gives us an example of a paragraph element that we can use to contrast with the H1 element that we defined above. And uh, these are all things that we've talked about to date. Adding an image is new. And so um, I've actually created three different images here. So um, we're going to add one for HTML, one for CSS, and one for JavaScript, and talk about uh, how to add that with the IMG element. Okay, so um, the IMG element takes uh, an attribute, in this case, source. And so inside source, we have to give the name of the file that we're loading. And so in this case, it's uh, HTML.png. So I want to load this image into my web page right there. And then uh, finally, we might add a, sort of a hyperlink. And we've talked about this. Um, so I might add a hyperlink to uh, some of the documentation that I would encourage students to look at and some of the documentation that inspired this uh, series of modules. So HTML basics is a great place to go. So if I were to make a link to this page, what I might do is put that into the attribute. Now I know that sort of makes that role in a way that's a little bit difficult to read. Um, we wanna close that tag. So we make sure that we have an open and a closed tag. And at that point, I might say uh, MDN web docs HTML V6. So if you recall, what we're going to do is this is the text that will appear on our website. It will appear as a hyperlink. And uh, when we click on that hyperlink, it should take us to this location. So I'm going to save this and, you know, we're going to want to test this as we go. 
So uh, I can go ahead and double click that file here and let's see how it looks. So we can see the effect of the code that we just created and I'll put it side by side just to um, help everybody piece this together. Okay. So um, you can see that this is our title, www overview, right? So that is coming from our header right here. You can see our H1 tag is www overview as well. And that's coming from this content right there. Then we can see our paragraph right below that our paragraph is marked off here. And you can see that's much smaller text. Then we've included our uh, HTML image with the source attribute, which points to the file that we want to show. And then finally, we have an anchor link and you can see that it's this con this text that appears like a hyperlink. And we know it's a hyperlink because it's underlined, it's in that sort of special shade of blue. And when you hover your mouse over it, it shows up as a hyperlink. Whenever you uh, work with hyperlinks, you're gonna wanna make sure that they work. So go ahead and click it. And if everything is correct, it should show you the HTML basics uh, document that uh, I highly suggest that you read. So this is just a basic introduction to sort of developing a more robust web page. And the truth is we could spend a lot more time adding more and more content to a web page like this. But at this point, you've seen enough to make your own web pages. So I want to encourage you and your students to use these tags and use these elements and use your knowledge of HTML to construct something that you care about. Next time, we're going to begin our discussion of CSS, that's cascading style sheets. And uh, the reason we're going to do that is because um, one criticism that we could make of this, albeit simple, website is that it really um, isn't very fancy. Um, this is sort of the default font that comes with the browser. Um, we can do much, much better. Cascading style sheets is how we take this very same content and make it look a little better, right? So we said HTML is what defines what our websites say. CSS is what defines how they look. And so we'll start that discussion in our next module. Until then, have a great time.